me very early on in the COVID-19 lockdown. I just want to go to bed, put the duvet over my head and wake up when this is all over. I wonder if this is how the disciples felt on the Mount of Olives. Jesus was praying about facing the cross and he asked the disciples to pray while waiting a little way off. In Luke 22 verse 45 it says, When he got up from prayer he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. On breakfast TV today, I heard Bjorn from Abba claim Winston Churchill's quote, never waste a crisis, as his way of dealing with these times. We hear that in lockdown, some people are finding it hard to control addiction to gambling, alcohol and drugs, Abusive relationships get worse and ill health of a variety of kinds can also get worse too. Even in the most advantageous conditions, families and friends confined in one home can be tempted by irritations or differing views or temperaments or choice of routines or even music to seriously fall out. Just being tolerant can be tough. When Jesus prays for the disciples in John 17 verse 15, he says, I am not asking that you take them out of the world, but that you guard them from the evil one. In other words, even in difficulties, may we not be abandoned or left alone. Put positively, it is a prayer for help when a crisis comes, when we are tested or subject to the dangers of temptation. Jesus loves us, but he doesn't wrap us in cotton wool or remove us from every situation we face that is difficult or when we face evil. In the Easter Pilgrim Notes it says, we are called to share in God's mission and that means being part of the great resistance. In Gethsemane, Jesus faces his greatest trial and prays for strength not to turn away from the cross. We too may face defining moments in our lives and ministries. We build our own strength for these key moments of our lives in the daily disciplines of prayer and Bible reading. We can cultivate a deep resistance to evil and living against the tide of circumstances. I pray we will have courage in these days not to waste a crisis, but to develop faith and so play our part in the great resistance.